Welcome to Missionary Monday, where we talk to real-life missionaries and hear about their experiences living in the mission field. I will also share some missionary stories with you, and we'll hear testimonies of how God has used people, just like you and me, to tell others about Jesus. I can't wait to get started. How about you? Today, we are talking to two young ladies who have been on several mission trips. Sylvia is 17 years old, and Marissa is 13 years old. Now, when we think of missionaries, we often think going overseas and living in another country for years, or maybe even sometimes a lifetime. People leave their jobs. They sell their homes. They say goodbye to their family, their friends. They travel across the world, and they go serve in another culture. But that doesn't always have to be the case. There are mission opportunities all around the world, but you don't have to give up your job or your home. You can just take a week or two or maybe three and help with a short-term mission trip. I've done several of those when I was a teenager, and I went to Africa three different times to help preach an evangelistic series, but thats we're not here for me. Let's talk to Sylvia and Marissa and hear their experiences with short-term mission trips. So we are excited to have both of you girls here. I want you guys to kind of tell us, what are some of the places you've traveled to for short-term mission work? Together, Marissa and I have been to Nicaragua, Kenya, and then a stateside project in Paradise, California. Then I went on another trip by myself to Cayenta, Arizona, which is located in the Navajo Nation. So which one out of those, which one was your favorite? Well, for me, it's really hard to pick a favorite. Each one of them were really amazing experiences. Were they all kind of different? No matter how many mission trips you go on, is it always different? Yeah, I would say that it is. Each time you're experiencing a new culture, a new, a different focus on the project, and each one is very different. Kenya was really cool because the culture was so different from what we're used to at home. The people were really friendly, really excited that you were there helping them. And that was a really amazing experience to be able to spend time with the people there. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Sometimes people might be like, well, if I just do one mission trip, then check, I've done a mission trip and I can live life just normally. But it's neat that you've been on multiple mission trips and you're like, each one is different. Each one has its unique things that happen and you can enjoy things and you can learn things from those different ones. That's really neat. So what was something that you did that maybe was outside of your comfort zone? Because When we go on mission trips, it's not always what we're expecting or it's not always the way that we normally live life. So how did you guys, was there something that you did that was kind of outside of your comfort zone that you're like, whoa, I've never done something like this before? I remember when we were in Kenya, an experience where we were leading a VBS program and one of the leaders came up to me, I was about 13 at the time, and said, would you take charge of the craft program. I need you to lead it and tell everyone what to do and organize the whole thing. And this was just minutes before we were supposed to start. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was kind of a new experience for me. I never had to lead a group in a group of people like that. And yeah. so that was something that at the time was out of my comfort zone. Yeah. It's like, whoa, I'm not, I'm not supposed to do this. Like, yeah, but you were able to do it. And how did you feel when you were done with that It was a cool feeling. You know, you realize that you could do something that, you know, with God's help that you hadn't realized you could do before, that you wouldn't have thought to try. So as you've gone on these different mission trips, what is the best thing about going on a mission trip? Like, how would you tell somebody what's so great about a mission trip? There's lots of different things, but I would say the um, opportunity to like play a part in changing somebody's life. When we went to Kenya, for example, Mm. we went to the job site and you could just see their old classrooms and there were just like mud huts with like, Mm -hmm. you know, they were like falling down 
and then when we left to be able to see the like spacious brick buildings that we had played part to help them like be you know in dry places when it was raining or something so that was um nice to like see yeah so when you went to Kenya what what was your job to do when you went there so I was actually in the kids program because I was younger we got to go and like um see more of the culture stuff we went on the job site Mm -hmm. a couple times the VBS and stuff Okay, so you you helped with the VBS. What were the adults doing on the job site? What were they building? They were building a school. For all the kids there to be able to have, like, was it like dormitories or was it like classrooms? So this was a day school that we were building and okay. there was multiple projects that visited it. So we just built one classroom on a whole campus. Wow, that's really neat. So you went to Kenya and you were building classroom for the the students and you were also doing a VBS program and helping with the kids. That's really neat um, to be able to be done with a project and when you're ready to leave, the place is better than when you got there. And you know that it's going to really make an impact on those who are serving there long term. So was there anything funny that has happened to you being in a different culture? When I was, I was in Kenya. We got to watch some of like the natives make a um, dish that it was called ungali. So it was like, it was like mm-hmm. cornmeal, and it was fun to see. So the way they would check to see if it was done is they would take some and they would throw it on the wall. If it stuck, it would it was ready. Uh-huh. So that was you know you never thought that. Somebody would check to see if their food was done by throwing it on the walls. I know. It's like, okay, is this done? Quick, throw it against the wall. That's kind of a different experience, isn't it? Wow. Well, that is really – that's interesting. You know, going on the mission trips, you're able to experience those different cultures and the different ways people eat. They eat different foods. It's a different climate. Sometimes it's really hot. But you're able to experience those different – Um, things and kind of get outside of your comfort zone. What do you find is the most rewarding thing or in what ways has life been richer or better because you've done these short-term mission trips? Well, something that has impacted me from these mission trips is being able to see the dedication and the faith of the members of the communities that we're able to serve. Oftentimes, Mm -hmm. They have so little uh, before you come. Their buildings are falling apart, and yet they—they're so—they have so much faith in that even if they can't see how it's going to happen, that they'll get the church they need, or they have nothing, no material wealth to give to make the church happen. Mm-hmm. They have so much faith in God that it will happen. And so being able to be the instrument by which their prayers are answered is a really life-changing experience. Wow. Like, I answered that person's prayer, or I helped answer that person's prayer, and that really changes your life. It gives you a new perspective on kind of what's important and gives you an example to follow for sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like, here, you're going to serve them, but in a way, they're ministering to you as well, well and for sure. your faith is growing, and you're like, Wow. If they have, they who have so little can be so grateful and just do their best with what they have. What can we do who have so much? How can we serve others and how can we use that to help Jesus? I really like um, what you said. That's, that's beautiful. So what would you say to someone who's thinking about doing a mission trip? They're like, wow, that sounds really neat. I, I think I'd like to do something like that. But then they're like, oh, I don't know. It kind of it costs a lot. And then I'd have to use my vacation. What would you say to them? Why should they do a, a mission trip? So I would definitely say, I mean, to do it, it's, it's, be, it's really rewarding and not – it not only changes other people's lives, but it change your, changes yours as well. I've had more fun on mission trips than any other vacation that I've been on. That is so neat. It's really rewarding. When you go on a mission trip, 
you have an opportunity to make an eternal difference in somebody's life, to maybe make the difference between whether they go to heaven or not. And when you think about it that way, it's really hard to let down that opportunity. You know, if I go on this trip, I could impact somebody and even impact my own life to become closer to Jesus. And that's in some ways a once in a lifetime experience. You know, you can do it multiple times, but you can only reach that. Maybe that person can only be reached right then, or you can only be changed in the way you need to be changed right then. Yeah, I like that. You know, um, when I've done mission trips, it's been, it's had a huge impact on my life and spiritually. And I feel like it's kind of helped me to follow Jesus. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes you kind of start getting off that path and those mission trips have kind of brought me back to, Hey, here's, what's really important. Jesus in heaven and sharing that message with others. That's really neat. So what would you recommend if somebody's like, okay, all right, I will do that. I will take my vacation. This is going to be the best vacation I've ever had. I'm going to use that money and I'm going to go on a mission trip. But wait, how do I find mission trips? Like, do you just Google search it? Like, how do you find it? So we have gone with Maranatha Volunteers International. And that's an organization that organizes projects overseas and also some in the United States and Canada for volunteers to come on and serve. You can find more information about Maranatha and how to sign up for a mission trip on their website, which is maranatha.org. Okay, so maranatha.org, and we'll put a link to that in the show notes below. And that's so that people can go there and they can find like a list of different places where they're going and like how much it costs and maybe like questions that they need answered. And they can sign up and they can do a mission trip with Maranatha. Exactly. Yeah. All that information is listed on their website as well as contact information. If you have any questions you want to ask Maranatha, it's all right there. That is awesome. All right. So you guys heard it. You got to do a short-term mission trip. Go to maranatha.org and you guys can sign up and go um, be a blessing to others. And you'll find that as you serve others, then you are going to be changed. God is going to do a work in your life as well as in the life of those who you're serving. Well, thank you so much, girls, for sharing with us about your experience. And I hope that it inspires other kids to do a mission trip. Go get out of your comfort zone and look for ways that you can serve. We're so glad you joined us today. If you want to find more programs and activities, go to our website, startingwithjesus.com.